My name is Colin Smith. I'm the utility solar analyst that's working on uh, the downstream utility scale PV market analysis for GTM research. We cover all um, uh, utility PV solar projects that have a, um, a utility off-taker and more and more that is also covering large-scale um, projects that have non-traditional off-takers such as corporations, the military, um, schools and city and or regions um, as well including community choice aggregators um, across the country. This year has been very interesting in that we'll, we'll see the biggest growth um, we've seen in a single year by far. Over two times the volume of 2015 will come online in 2016. Consequently, there's so many projects in development, we're going to see most of 2017 will be dictated by the number of projects that were originally slotted for 2016 that will actually spill over into 2017 as well. Um, what's even more interesting on top of that is the limited amount of greenfield origination of new projects for next year is dictated not by policy or renewable portfolio standard driven solar, but by the economic competitiveness of solar driving um, procurement in PERPA markets, leveraging avoided cost rates for specific utilities, and really being procured also by utilities outside of renewable portfolio standards, particularly in the southeast and a numerous uh, other state markets as well. More than anything else, I think this, this, there's no single market that I can be singled out. Um, currently, there are 20 state markets with over 200 megawatts. Um, of utility solar in development, and I think that number is going to continue to grow. Um, we're seeing a tremendous amount of solar penetration and new development across states based on this economic competitiveness. Um, but we're also going to see California continue to be a large procurer of utility PV. The Texas as a state market, which has always been big, is going to continue to grow at a very rapid clip. and. Um, in the coming years will be a, a major source of um, utility PV across the country. I think the southeast is going to be predominantly driven by voluntary procurement from the utilities in that region. Um, and we're going to see more and more in um, the deregulated markets of ERCOT, PJM, and uh, California CAISO of corporations procuring um, uh, large off-site um, solar projects in order to meet renewable energy goals. We're seeing a tremendous amount of growth from corporations and there's a bunch of different mechanisms through which they're procuring this, whether it be through um, green tariff or green rider programs in various state utilities where a utility is offering 50 or 100 percent renewable energy at a fixed price. Um, we're also seeing corporations um, leave their utilities to um, start procuring energy on their own and others that are brokering deals individually with developers to power data centers and other facilities. Um, in 2016, we're going to see a little over 800 megawatts of solar come online in one given year. Um, but by really by 2018, um, due to the fact that corporate procurement of utility solar is growing at such a fast rate, we should see over one gigawatt of utility PV being procured by corporate entities year over year going forward. 2017 is going to be dictated uh, first and foremost by spillover from 2016. Um, we're going to see year-over-year -year decline from 2016 to 2018, but after that, an emergence of uh, regrowth in the sector, um, which and this is all a consequence of the extension of the um, ITC that happened last year. Um, but all in all, we're seeing a healthy market that's really tr changing from a policy or renewable portfolio-driven market into one that is driven both by policy but also by solar's economic competitiveness that is really driving market diversification, uh, new developers to enter the market, new off-takers to emerge, and really creating a healthy um, ecology for uh, utility PV to grow in. The economic competitiveness of utility PV is growing as a consequence of the um, decreasing costs of utility scale solar, which is driving lower and lower PPA prices. Uh, within the last six months, we've seen prices in the mid $40 per megawatt hour range, and this year we've seen prices in the mid $30 per megawatt hour range, and we're continuing to see that decline even further. Those low levels of prices make utility PV solar competitive with natural gas, certainly with coal and other renewable resources, which makes it a really attractive offer or option to include in any utilities portfolio. This again is just adding into the fact that we're now seeing it in um, 
utility solar in over 35 states across the country and we expect to see large deployments continue to grow across the U.S.